Imagine being able to repair and replace human body parts in the same way we do with car parts. This may sound like pure science fiction, but scientists are exploring new medical technologies that could allow them to grow custom-made and ready-to-use organs. This means diseases like leukemia, Parkinson's, diabetes, heart diseases, and strokes could all be reversed and cured with bioengineered organs. These lab-grown organs would be made from stem cells. So what are stem cells and where do they come from? Stem cells are special human cells that act as a repair system for our bodies and are able to fix damaged tissues. They are able to develop into many different types of cells, like muscle cells or brain cells. All the cells in our bodies are believed to originate from stem cells. As they mature, they then obtain their functions and become what is scientifically referred to as differentiated cells. Stem cells are divided into two main forms, embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. Embryonic stem cells are cells found only in very early development and are the precursors to every cell type in the human body. They have an amazing potential to turn into almost any body part. They are also virtually immortal and are able to produce new cells even after months in a petri dish. Some embryonic stem cells used in research today come from unused embryos during an in vitro fertilization procedure. These unused embryos are instead donated to science. Other embryonic stem cells can be created in the lab using genetic reprogramming. Adult stem cells, on the other hand, are rare cells found in the body after its birth and throughout its life. They reside in tissues like the brain, the bone marrow, the blood vessels, the muscles, the liver, and the skin. Adult stem cells wake up when the tissue needs to be repaired because of certain damage or disease. Scientists have been able to harvest stem cells. They were also able to make them from differentiated cells by reprogramming them back to a stem cell state. However, these cells so far are flawed and can only develop into a small number of cell types. Out of the many possibilities to use stem cells, tissue regeneration is the most essential. Currently, the world is facing an organ shortage crisis. In the US alone, more than 100,000 people are on a waiting list for an organ transplant. Being able to bioengineer and grow organs from stem cells would largely help with this problem. At the same time, these organs would be custom made and ready to use. They would be generated from the patient's own stem cells, which would greatly reduce the risk of the body's immune system rejecting the transplant. Scientists could go on to cure heart diseases or diabetes. Special cells made from stem cells could be implanted into the heart or the pancreas, where they could replace non-functional cells. Even brain diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's could be cured by repopulating the brain with healthy cells. These scientific achievements are yet to be accomplished for regenerative medicine. The techniques are still far from perfect, but scientists are still researching and working on new ways to harness the power of stem cells. They believe that in a few years from now, regenerative medicine will be available and a preferred method for everybody. What do you think of stem cell research? And what do you imagine the future of stem cell therapy could look like? Share your thoughts in the comment section.